scientists are going to have to reassess what it means to be a species because we already found that humans have anywhere from 2 to 3% Neanderthal DNA. Plus, there's this new species called Denisovans, which some modern populations have as much as 5%. Plus, in South Africa, there's a species called Homo naledi, which is only 200,000 years old and maybe existed much more recently that they're going to find out sooner or later whether it mixed with modern humans. So this whole idea of species is going to have to be rewritten. The definition is going to have to be rewritten. You know, some of the most popular sites on the internet are ones that trace our genetics. People want to know where they came from. People want to know where they originated, where their family roots are. Scientists also are finding that there's new species and new that they never knew about. I mean, we thought that humans are top of the ladder, right? That there's no no variation, but now we're finding out there's all kinds of variations. It wasn't linear progress. There's all these branches. It, the problem is in the word species, because when a person mentions Denisovan or Homo naledi or Neanderthal, saying that they have a percentage of these other species, even though, let's say Neanderthal, we know had a larger brain than modern humans, some of these don't, and there's going to be a stigma attached. And some of this genetic testing is going to show and reveal where your ancestry comes from. Are you going to feel inferior if you maybe you're related to these other uh, species? So, or on the other side, will you feel superior? And should you feel either? I mean, we got to be sensitive, right? That's what What's going on today. It's sensitive about everything. You, everyone has to have their own specific label for whatever kind of person they are, right? And everybody needs personhood, including your dog and cat. Where are we going from here? Where, where do we go with this? Is, is everything just that we've known in history going to just be blown to pieces and it's going to be brought back together in a completely different way. The scientists are on a tear right now figuring out the origins of humans and it's mostly DNA driven. And the bottom line for me is there's already people saying that having Neanderthal genes is negative. Now there's not so much about Denisovan genes because most people don't know about it. But what happens when Homo naledi, for example, the genome is mapped for that? What will be the pushback? And will this pushback be based on a pushback against Neanderthals? And why, have, why is being related to any one of these specific species need to be a derogatory term? It doesn't, but all those things are going to have to be out in the open pretty soon because scientists are learning about this stuff quick.